this video, we're going to show you how to replace a rear ABS sensor in your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 14 millimeter socket, remove the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper bracket bolts. Remove the caliper assembly. I'm gonna use a hook to hang the caliper. I'm gonna go up and hang it off of the spring of the strut. If you don't have a hook, just make sure you put it somewhere where there's no tension hanging on this brake hose. You don't want it to kink. We're gonna remove the dust cap out of the rotor. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're going to back off the star nut inside. It'll be located right on the bottom. Once you have it backed off, the shoes will let go of the rotor and you can pull it off. There's four bolts that hold the wheel bearing to the knuckle. The way you'll access these is through the big hole and you'll just keep spinning the hub around to access each one. Using a 14 millimeter socket, Remove the wheel bearing bolts. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're going to push on the tab for the ABS sensor and then we're going to pull the connector off of the wheel bearing. Get under that tab and using your other hand, pull back. And remove the connector. Using a bungee cord, I'm going to tie up the wheel bearing so when it pops out, it doesn't fall and pull on something that I don't want it to. We'll go up to the spring. Now when we pop this off, it won't just fall. Using a large hammer, we're going to hit around this hub and pop it out of the knuckle. You only want to hit the outside. Then it'll pop out. Flip the assembly over. You're going to hold it by the backing plate or up top here. And then we're going to use a hammer and hit the back of this and push the wheel bearing out. your wheel bearing pops out, 
carefully remove it. Before we remove our ABS sensor, we're gonna mark its location. So I'm gonna put one mark right where the connector was gonna go. Just like that. And now we'll remember which way to clock our sensor when we go to put it back in. Using a very pointy chisel, we're gonna go around the ABS sensor. And we're gonna tap and we're gonna lift it up going around the whole outside. Keep going around the ABS sensor until it pops out. We're gonna install the new ABS sensor into place. We're gonna make sure we line it up with our mark. We're gonna very gently go around with a hammer and tap this in. We don't wanna hit it too hard. We don't wanna deform it at all. We just kinda of wanna get it set into place. Now that I'm not really getting any more progress, we're gonna swap over to a punch. Keep going around, punching the sensor in until it's fully seated around the whole bearing. Using a light abrasive, we're gonna clean this mating surface. And using a wire brush, we're also gonna get into here and clean up where the wheel bearing is gonna sit. You don't wanna remove any material, you just wanna get rid of any corrosion or rust that's built up. Using a clean rag and some parts cleaner, go ahead and clean up any of the dust. Install the wheel bearing. Install the assembly into the knuckle. Line up the bolt holes. With all the bolts started, go around and snug them down. I'm gonna go in a crisscross pattern so that the wheel bearing will sit square. Torque the wheel bearing bolts to 59 foot-pounds.
install the rotor. We're going to adjust our shoes. I'm going to adjust the shoes until I can't turn the drum at all. And then I'm going to back it off a few turns. Until I can move the drum freely. Install the connector for the ABS. Push until you hear a click. If you don't hear a click, pull on it and make sure it's locked on. If you have your caliper on a hook, go ahead and remove it now. And then install it onto the rotor. Install the caliper bracket bolts. Snug them down. Torque the bracket bolts to 46 foot pounds. Install the dust cover into the rotor. Install the wheel. Get the lug nuts started. Snug them down. We'll torque the wheel on the ground. Torque the wheels in a star pattern to 76 foot-pounds. Once you're done with this job, take your car to a local shop and have them do an alignment. And you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.